Now I'm going to talk about creating the modal button. I'm going to create another button right there. I click on it. It shows me the modal dialog box. The modal dialog box means it's modal. It comes up on top of your screen and it doesn't go away until you click on a button. You do something what it wants you to do and you click on a button and then some code executes to dismiss it. Unlike pop-up where if you click anywhere outside it, it can automatically go away. Now let's inventory what we're going to need. I am going to need a view. I'm going to need a button on the view. Uh, create actions for the button. For the view I need a class. Associate the class with that view. And then create the codes in the header and the, the dot h file and the m file so very first thing is i need to drag a view a regular view up here no need for any connection i believe there could be connection just like uh, the pop-up controller there's one with segway one without a segway i believe that there could be one with the segway so, but i'm just going to make one without a segway so I have that right there. I need a button on top of it. Okay. And a very small zoom in. It doesn't allow me to put one on. Not even that. I gotta make it a little bit more bigger. It's gonna be that big. Yep, so don't be confused. Actually, I'm going to drag a text box here as well. I'm just going to enter some value and transfer it back over. Now, next thing I need is I need a class. Okay, so I'm going to add a class. File new. Objective C. Modal view controller. Subclass of UI view controller. Targeted for iPad. No, uncheck that. It'll be both for iPhone or iPad. The other thing about modal view controllers are they work on iPhone and iPad. So I have a class now. Actually, I should have made the class first then jumped over to the nib so when I am here I can just associate modal view controller nope that's not the right one come back in here nope modal view controller modal view controller and nope if I click on file save yeah you see um, it keeps opening up the that one Still not right. Modal view controller. Oh, you see, I spelled it wrong. Moda view controller. I'm going to have to redo this again. Control these magic hands. View controller. Mm. 
model view controller okay maybe I was doing something wrong okay now it opens up right <laughs> I had to click on view now it opens up okay I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or there's something wrong with this uh, so I need to create uh, an uh, action uh, IB action for this button done on click and I tend to uh, follow naming convention the name of the button done and on click so I know uh, when I'm looking at it without the property and everything in the code I can tell you know which one it is so next one is there's a text box and also uh, this time I need an outlet for it and there's only one text box so I'm gonna say text box outlet also let me create a text yeah that should be enough so now I need to go back in there and find my man I need a big screen for the, to work with these things especially when you <laughs> Come into iPad, you need a big screen. I need a nav bar button or bar button, they call it. Navigation item, toolbar, bar button item. See, on this nav bar, you can have one on this side and one on the other side. That's it. You can't have like one, two, three, four, a lot of them, a whole bunch of them. Double click it. show modal view now I need to go back and drag open the assistant editor its header file create an outlet show modal view on click I'm trying to come up with naming conventions that will make it easy to identify with So now I need show model view on click. Where is it? Oh, sorry. I also need actually not an outlet, an action for it. So I need to undo my changes. Actually, this is a good practice to see how to undo it. Control click. Mistakenly, I created a referencing outlet, so I gotta delete it. Now I gotta, I can. No. Control click. Read an action. Show model view on click see when I deleted it uh, from there it's up to me to get rid of it from here so now if I go to model view on M there should be one yeah here you go now I now it's my job to put some code over here which will load it up and fire it now if you recall I missed one step I did not give it an ID what did I you see this one the it's hard to see yeah this one the modal view controller I need to give it a storyboard ID modal view one now I can go back in here
you see and in, in the future I'm gonna do a better job and start working with like inventories of stuff making a list of things that I'm gonna do and in what sequence I'm gonna do so there is no so much flipping around of going back to the storyboard and go back to the data and file I see a lot of that in many tutorials and that, that's a drawback and I admit I have that too so I'm gonna better prepare uh, the inventory of things that I'm gonna do and w in what sequence I'm, I am going to do and what makes the most efficient uh, steps least amount of steps and most efficient way of steps and the most efficient sequence of things to do I'm gonna start looking into that for myself as well for my benefit okay a few more things I gotta import the model view controller I need this command these commands right there model view controller I just imported it up there I'm gonna call it model view self storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier model view one that's the idea I gave her gave it gave it in the storyboard setting its transition style setting a few properties and telling it to render itself if I click it show model view and there's the model view when I click on done it should dismiss now I gotta write the code to dismiss it I'm gonna have to go back to the storyboard click on this um, I gotta zoom in open up this and make sure I have a yeah you see I made the same mistake here I created an act outlet for it as opposed to an action so control click referencing outlet delete now it will delete it from you know behind the scene whatever's going on it's not gonna delete it from here um, this one the done click so I gotta get rid of that and do it all over again control drag and this time action done on click now actually the other way instead of you know what I, I have been doing click there blah 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 you can just go here and it should know what the associated code code with it and bring it up now I gotta write the code here to dismiss and it's basically in the model view controller done on click self dismiss model view controller animated yes as simple as that um, click on it done show model view controller done so next what I wanna do is I wanna type uh, create a protocol, a delegate, whatever I type in here I, when I click done I want to show it here so I need a label a, a, a delegate a protocol basically these three, three things everything will be surrounding these items okay so I need a storyboard at this point I don't need it I don't need this at this point I need to find my I need to put a label here to receive the values of the text box from the modal view right there so I need to drag that back up here and the label is somewhere up there and I need to create assistant uh, open up the assistant editor and create an outlet for it control drag outlet I'm going to call label one 
label wall outlet so I, I know when I'm looking at it in the code that this is the outlet and not the property N not a text string or anything like that because the outlet you know dot text I'll have to do something like that to set its text property so I have a text I have an outlet now I can start working on uh, go to the model view controller and start creating a protocol for it okay so here we are modal controller did finish in it label one dot text controller dot text box outlet dot text that's one thing the other thing are in modal view controller I need to add self delegate motor view controller did finish self so model view controller self has a delegate it has a method model view controller did finish and send it an instance of myself which is model view controller in the model view controller another change when I go to show the model view click is to set the delegate and that command is uh, right here model view set delegate self model main view controller is a delegate for the modal view controller so talk back to me so it'll go, it's going to talk back right here I'm going to define a protocol and I'm expecting a method called well, if I get rid of this maybe I can see it much better uh, modal view controller did finish and it accepts I an instance of modal view controller or a pointer to modal view controller so do I have modal view controller did finish in main view controller uh, yeah we did see that and in in there label one dot outlet I just I'm setting the property of that text box to the controller which happens to be the modal view controller here the text box its text so if I run this modal view controller hello I'm done and it gets transferred over to the main window hello again done and it gets transferred now we are talking between a modal view and its caller so th that's it thank you